there is so much activity going on in the fields with interplanetary, shocks, electrical peaks and geomagnetic storms, see geomagnetic jerk, of which when we remain flexible give us the required momentum to catalyze some major transformations that progress us forward. This is a time of being exposed to proverbial shocks and literal electrical shocks, as the universal, lighting rod, moves us into the next stage of spiritual activation. Our bodies may feel like a live wire, the electrical stimulation just pulsing and tingling through our nerve endings. Some of these shocking waves may come in behaviors that form from perceived betrayals or relationship conflicts, this is to surface previous hidden issues that have not yet been seen. To see something that was hidden when it was always in front of you, yet, was being perceived differently, can be greatly alarming. Yet, the empowerment and wisdom is in recognizing the object, event or being for what it really is, when it is newly perceived in this changing energetic terrain. The geomagnetic shifts on planet are making us look at things much differently. We are also able to sense energetic blueprint structures and geomantic code, codes that direct energies in a certain pattern or frequency, in the field more than before. In this way, we can reconcile conflicts and pain when we can begin to recognize what it is, the program control code, that is implants, etc., and perceive it accurately with neutrality and non-judgment. To clear or alter the code for beneficial impact, how much we are willing to know through non-judgment is the counterpoint that measures how deep the rabbit hole goes. Clearing parasites this budding reverence for ourself and others puts us on the path of growing our consciousness in the power of love, in order to build the strength required to become an embodied Christos, balanced superhuman. We must build the house of God for Christos within our own bodies through loving acts of purification, detoxification, purging, extraction, removals, and clearings. We are reclaiming the body of Christ and thus, we are called at this time for purging, clearing our bodies of parasites. It is time we can make a great impact to clear physical and energetic parasites that feed off our body and our consciousness energies. At this time we are being called upon to recognize, question and then purge that which is false, inorganic, diseased, machined, cloned, implanted or alien. All of these are a form of parasitism. We have met the time of the great purging. We will find ourselves put to task to explore what this means and how we must participate. This purging begins at individual levels and expands outward into collective levels. That replication is made in artificial, archontic, coat which harnesses female reproductive organs vital energies, breathing, which are inherent in sexual alchemy and matter manifestation. The prostitution of the sacred feminine code, her ovaries and ovum are harnessed with bipolar geometries and reversal arc codes, that is fleur dilies, that are designed to continue to reproduce enslaved humans for the fractured collective soul. The more planetary soul splitting, gender splitting and parasitism that happens in the astral planes, the more birthing rates increase population on the Earth's surface. We can observe the results of the torture made upon the direct oppression of women and children, as well as the parasitism of the entire earthly creation. This is the shadow side created by the Archon's misogyny program, Orion Group's patriarchal domination, to control the feminine, and thus control the sexuality and birthing rates of the reincarnating soul population for their controller agenda. Thus the Archons and their controller code have been living in the shadows of deception as a parasite of humanity and the planet. Alien implant profiles implants are used in key areas of planet to instruct the human nervous system to release life force, chai, energies and body parts to be given to this network for siphoning and control over the population. Implants are used to override or run programming in your personal biocomputer. Your biocomputer is your physical body. So implants impact your health, your mental state, your emotional state, your ability to access consciousness and your sense of self. Genetic history plays a part in the type of implant or level of psychic and energetic harassment one receives from these networks. Where and when you were born will give you clues to the types of implants related to your genetic history. 
Identified implants are congenetic engineered entities or suppressor parasites, SPPs, variation of small black shapes, some with attached wiring, chest slash heart harness, dodecahedron mind control harness, disease booby traps, etheric weaponry, knives, cleavers, etc. Knowing these structures exist is the most powerful form of terminating its influence over your body, nervous system and your consciousness. These implants alter the frequency structure of your aura and consciousness through the messaging made on the central nervous system, CNS. Through your consciousness you can alter the frequencies and remove them from their harmful effects. Do not be afraid of it. Personal 12D shielding, commanding your space and stopping addictive behaviors from controlling you or allowing yourself to be an automaton, will stop allowing these parasites into your body. Those of us that are etheric surgeons also, by knowing this exists, will be able to identify the culprits and help to free people from this type of enslavement to addiction and misery. Additionally we will be called to take it out of planetary networks when it becomes available in the timeline. First we must identify it in the human body so we can take it out of the planetary body. As we unify and come together to share our findings we become a part of the planet support team to free humanity from this insidious enslavement matrix. Alien implants and parasites are another way this consciousness enslavement is enforced. For now, remember to seal your astral body along with wearing your 12D shield. This should give more relief from the etheric and astral pressure from implantation. That process is using the golden egg to seal your astral layers. Practitioners should practice this astral body seal with their energy session clients. Example, see a golden egg with the golden ray frequency inside your brain and third eye. Drop the gold egg to your tailbone and blow it out of your perineum area. See the bottom root chakra sealed in a gold lid. Create another gold egg in your brain and drop it into your 2D chakra. Blow it front to back and see the chakra cones sealed in a golden lid, both front and back. Create the last gold egg in your brain, drop it into your heart chakra and blow it out front and back, see the front and back chakra sealed in a golden lid. If you feel vulnerability anywhere else, like your head or neck, repeat the process in the area and blow it out to surround your head and then your whole body while encased in your 12D shield. Ask Avatar Christ or God Self to identify, locate and removal cords, DNA bonds, clones slash copies, attachments, fragments to any and all extraterrestrial contacts, entity contacts, monadic families, that are inorganic and alien machinery from your mental body, soul body, monad body and all spiritual source light. Then repair all holes, tears and portals to the past, present and future timelines. Last, return to rightful honorable aspects that belong to your soul spirit. Archontic Genetic Engineered Entities, SPP, this, SPP, is one of the main sources of voice recognition mind control that is implanted most commonly through the gallbladder meridian. It is a parasite, so its life cycle and how it burrows into the bodily matrices is exactly like a physical parasite. In understanding how alien implants and SPPs function is to understand parasites. Your goal is to purge, detoxify, parasites in every way you can from your body. A very important thing to understand is that physical parasites in the body create disease, energy blockages and increase the body's vulnerability to mind control technologies. This is what the Archons want, to weaken our bodies with parasites to be subservient to their control. Note for pleomorphic change in microorganisms the reason pleomorphism is important to us and is proven in microscopic live blood analysis is that we begin to understand at the core of all diseases parasitism, and the root of all disease, imbalance, on earth is also parasitism. When we apply this to the macro levels, we start to see the larger picture of the NAP as parasites and how that has impacted our world in every way. We have millions of names to call something that is diseased or sick, yet, it all boils down to causation and mutation of one thing, parasitism. This is why anything having to do with parasites and toxicity, waste product, chemicals, 
causing disease or mutations is persecuted in the medical community. This is why the medical system will not apply live blood microscopic analysis, frequency testing, or acknowledge pleomorphic change of microorganism inside the human body as responsible for disease. If this became medically acceptable it would reveal parasites and toxicity as the cause for all disease and we would eradicate the need for synthetic drugs and medical barbarism. Energetic parasites are the source of physical parasites and pathogenic microorganisms. The more alien implants we have, the more energetic parasitism happening in our life force and vital body essences. If we are covered with infection and parasites we are living in a rate of decay which greatly impacts the quality of our bodily function, to which we are not made aware. The Archontic Genetic Engineered Entity or SPP, Suppressor Parasite Entity, Briefing, SPPs are jellyfish or crab grass like blobs with, tentacles, that are genetically engineered by the Archons to implant the side, lateral, head of the target, can be either right or left or both sides. They generally are implanted in the gallbladder, GB, meridian from the outside corner of the eye and wrap around the ear like the GB meridian. These engineered machines, mimic, the person's thoughts, voice and create a voice recognition pattern with the person slash host brain pattern and chemistry. This implant takes time to, train, the body to, listen, to the artificial entity, and as the person is unaware that the mind control is being used to influence their thoughts, actions and behaviors, the entity actually, grows. It has a hub slash brain in the center blob which has etheric tentacles that will grow to stimulate parts of the CNS slash autonomic responses in the spinal nerves and spinal cord. In more advanced stages it will be the voice inside the host's head, pushing thoughts into your mental body. It feeds and grows on the life force of the host like a parasite. The thoughts are programmed to genetically mimic your own voice recognition pattern which hardwires the brain to react automatically as the brain thinks it is receiving self-impulsed thoughts. This is to create human military machines, super soldiers, or create sociopaths, who do not ask questions but just carry out orders or react without applying reason or intelligence. The NAK uses males more to carry out these acts of violence and to get them to do so, will implant them with some variation of these SPPs. I have noted the tentacles when they grow create instinctual reactions in the person, and this can eventually grow the addiction matrix to be at the whim of this controlling SPP entity having trained the brain pattern. It is possible to pull them out of the body from the GB meridian channel with your hands and fingers. In my direct experience, the balance of female-male hierogamy HGS, in energetic session work makes the removal of these insidious objects easier. The ability to pull out implants with the hands is referred to as the Orion Codes. This is because this is a remnant from the Orion Wars. The HGS is a tool to work with this as we get more skill and expertise learning how to disarm and destroy these creatures at their source location in the temporal area of the brain and skull. In the interim to stop them from being implanted or growing further if you are suffering from this kind of attack, be conscious of their existence and know they're there, do not allow yourself to go on autopilot and identify them as not a part of your organic self. Do not feed them in any kind of frenzied emotional or sexual displays. Calm and discipline your emotions. Palpate the temporal lobe you can feel them, pulse, with your fingertips. Especially when you catch them off guard. Work with the gallbladder meridian meditation and ways to increase the flow of your GB meridian energies. Acupuncture may help move the energy flow in the areas the tentacles are embedded. Detox your gallbladder and liver to help remove parasites both energetic and physical. Parasites are a source of mind control and disease. Energy session workers may be able to gather the 12 DGSF energy in your hands in a bowl, encapsulate the entity brain slash hub inside your hands energy bowl and build the energy momentum to destroy it. The thing will hide itself and cloak itself, so it's important to not engage with it in conversation at any level. 
Intuitively you may learn to pull out the structure through the DB meridian pathway out of the fingertips or the toes which is entirely possible, although it may be painful to the subject. Hair gets in the way around the ear, when you capture the entity and pull it out, it will create cracking energy noises over the joints, you can hear the energetic structure moving past joints. Meditate, clear negative ego and hold inner peace and this stops them from growing, they wither away and make them easier to pull out like half dead weeds. They seem to be related to the C1 C2 dislocation at the back of the cranium and spine and crucifixion implants. These implants seem to make their removal much more difficult, so when the atlas adjustment occurs and there is a systematic release of the crucifixion implants, these jellyfish creatures are much more easily pulled out at the side temporal lobe. So a part of the issue is waiting for the person to evolve to a point where they can participate with their own spiritual growth, and recognize these creatures, otherwise pulling these out can feel like a violation to the body. Gaining clarity of purpose with energetic healing during this time of purging physical and energetic parasites you may feel guided to call upon energetic healers to help you. With healing or session modalities, the practitioners access the level of their own octave of spiritual light quotient and below, in order to service an energetic exchange with their client. If the client has a higher frequency than the practitioner the exchange is generally vibrationally incompatible, unless it is for a karmic lesson exchange. This is why it is important to develop personal discernment in your choice of healing modality and practitioner. The modality will also be aligned to the matched frequency of the founder slash creator of the healing modality. The founder and creator of any format are bound to the energetic containment of the responsibility of that creation. As we are aware there is also extreme interference to interrupt a modality by dark forces who want to hitchhike or catch a ride on the energies. Wearing your 12D shield or HGS calibration method is the best protection for both parties, there is no value assigned at any level, and any type of modality serving a specific level of being can be beneficial, as long as the person feels aligned vibrationally to the healing session. Here at us our mission is to serve a template of galactic to universal modality and the spoken language reflects that energy signature. This is why the language can feel new or confusing, as it has not been on the planet like this before, and we are laying a new foundation as a template for the planet and humanity. Galactic history has frequency memory and will activate a person at the cellular level. This is the phenomenon of why in our S lexicon of language many people feel it first, before mentally comprehending what was actually being said literally. The information presented is not just words, it has a place in galactic and universal history. When a person is listening to the sessions shared in the S community, they are starting at the October the 11th 12 triad and working, down, into their personality body to decipher the translation. This is why sometimes many people take a while to actually, feel, or sense something. The body at its lower physical density cannot feel it. Later on, as the bodies integrate and acclimate to higher frequencies, the body starts to link up with the Christos triad and the physical body starts to feel again. Most people on planet Earth start healing from the personality up. Reiki and many energy modalities work this way. The Asgardian template is working from Christ triad, 12D avatar, to descend down through communicating inside the 12D pillar. The 12D pillar is the handshake hub that allows the Christos triad to start to anchor in the foundation and descend into the downward spiral to embodiment physically. Sometimes the 12D hits a block somewhere in a section of the light body that the person cannot feel or know where the block is originating. Sometimes going to that specific level of being, say such as soul level helps the blockage remove its obstacle path so that, dissension, process of the Christos body can continue its embodiment pathway without burning out the nervous system or brain. Listening to your inner guidance and sometimes following a zigzag path will lead you to the sequence needed for your light body development. Eyewitness sequences in the biological and planetary timelines as critical for personal healing development all the time. 
This process can only be felt from the sensory body from personal discernment whether this feels right for each person. Chakras are cleansed and reset into proper spinning pattern, receive input energies, release output energies. Timeline accessed is within biological genetic memory, fetus to passing. Full access to current family of origin memory. Limited access to ancestral and spiritual body memory. Access to nadial systems, etheric nervous system, and personality birth transduction, the soul connects to etheric ka layer to form and birth the physical self. Multiple soul identities are accessed, usually earth-based memories and referred to as, past lives. Star seeds have a soul extension that is extraterrestrial and not earth-based. A soul body healing for a star seed from the earth seed healer is not likely unless the star guidance intervenes. This is the most common frequency used in earth-based healing and is effective at certain times. Planetary Logos Memory, Memory in other stellar and planetary bodies, entire multiple species and tribal memories. Extraterrestrial and multiple identity memories surface. Stargate, Lee lines and genetic line memories are accessed. This unity state is called High Arrows Gamus or the Risen Christos. I hope by sharing this information while on my mission will help more of us to understand this enslavement structure and become free of its effects. I also hope that it empowers more of us as energy facilitators to recognize these systems operating in the many people who suffer horribly from its infection in their body. If more of us can view this objectively as an artificial structure operating from the negative alien influence, it will cease to operate. That is our collective goal for those who really wish to be free.